What's up everyone, it's Marko Kuzmic here, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to share some of my knowledge to you. Some key things which I found helpful when calculating your maintenance calories. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you something basic about nutrition, calories to be precise. Then what maintenance actually is. Number one mistake people make when doing the maintenance phase. Last, how to actually calculate your. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe by clicking the icon in the down right corner. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. All in all, this is going to be an informative one. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. She's got a body like a coat She likes to keep the party going These rumors got me feeling lonely I'll put that body, baby, show me So let's start I will try to sum up some things about calories in general. Calories can be consumed uh, from protein, carbohydrate, and fats. So, one gram of protein has four calories, so as carbohydrate, and one gram of fat has nine calories. These three all together are called micronutrients. All diet plans out there are based on distribution of these three elements in their required ratios. Now for example, let's take 20 100 calorie diet. So uh, you can take 600 calories from 150 grams of protein. You can take 800 calories from 200 grams of carbohydrates. And you can take the remaining uh, 600 calories 600 calories from 67 grams of fat. Uh, this is also called counting macros or tracking macros if you didn't know. Now I will tell you some examples for food uh, in food high in each of these macronutrients. Foods high in protein are mainly eggs, all kinds of meat and fish. So for example pork, chicken, salmon, cod, and so on. Foods richer in carbohydrates are rice, potatoes, bread, pasta, all kinds of fruit and veggies. Foods higher in fat would be uh, nuts, oils, nut and seed butter, um, avocados, for example, and so on. Moving on to the meaning of maintenance. So I want to talk to you guys about the word maintenance. This, th this word is often uh, times the reason people get worried. Because uh, when they hear this word they think that they are going to maintain their progress and not make any more. But when in reality the opposite happens. When you bump up your calories you have more energy you lift more weight and your mood improves significantly. Overall, if you do this maintenance phase properly, you develop a healthier relationship with food, with your mind, with your body. So if you feel worried about this idea of maintenance, you have to remember you are not maintaining your progress. You are making progress. You are building muscle. You are getting stronger. So at the start of your maintenance phase, if you were in a caloric deficit, you are gonna see a spike or pounds in your weight. But don't feel discouraged when you see it, because that's normal. Furthermore, the golden rule of bodybuilding is the following. If you are in a caloric deficit, you are going to lose fat, and if you are in a calorie surplus you are going to build muscle for all of you who don't know calorie deficit is when you consume less food than you burn and caloric surplus is uh, when you consume more food than you burn 
Oh, the calories, which are named here as burned calories, are all equal to the main three components. First component is your resting calories. So these resting calories are calories that are needed for your body's uh, normal function, for example. The calories you burn when you sleep, uh, the calories your organs burn to function properly, and so on. So the next component is your, your calories which you burn through activity. So you walk, you clean, you, weight, uh, you lift weights in the gym, uh, and you get the point, right? And, and the third component is the calories your body burns when digesting food. Now, if you were somewhere in between, okay, between the calorie surplus and calorie deficit, uh, you can call it maintenance. You were, at worst, going to maintain your lean body muscle mass. A flashback to a previous point which I mentioned, so these uh, weight spikes up and down, they happen, uh, they are dependent on numerous variables, not only the calories you are consuming every day. Moving on to the most common mistake people make when being in a maintenance phase or starting a maintenance phase. So when you are starting your maintenance phase, when you are stepping on the scale in the first day or two, when you see that spike in your weight, don't get discouraged, don't feel worried. You won't see progress in five days or seven days. You need to give it time. You can't make progress in like two days. Let's take for example, if, we're, if you were going to play a piano, you won't get good at playing piano in just five days. You need to play continually like for four months, eight months, a whole year you get the point, right? So for example, if you are jumping from bulking to cutting to maintenance to cutting to bulking, uh, you won't make any progress either because you are just trying to do all of these things at once and you are not <clears throat> doing the one thing at a time. You are not focusing on one thing. So my advice to you is that you at least, at least stick to it for 30 days. Like that is the minimum to see any progress made. Did it for like 30 days, uh, you see <clears throat> how it went and what to do next. If you are going to keep maintaining or maybe cut or maybe bulk, but give it at least 30 days. You have to commit to being consistent. Nothing, nothing is gonna fall from a tree for you. You need to understand that. Therefore, the main topic of this video, how to actually calculate your maintenance calories. Before starting this topic, I just wanna talk to you that I'm going to post a upper workout on my Instagram. I will link it here or here. So you can follow me there and check it out if you're interested. There isn't a single calculator on the internet or somewhere else in the encyclopedia or a book that is going to calculate your maintenance calories precisely. It just doesn't exist. Since there are numerous variables uh, in consideration when calculating your calories like sleep, uh, stress, daily activity and so on. Now I will give you a way how to actually calculate yours. I think this one is the easiest but it's not the quickest. So take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 14. That's it. Video over. See ya. I'm just kidding. No. Take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 14. You get the general idea or general number like 240 calories I don't know to 2400 calories 
Now this will be a rough estimate of your maintenance calories. It's not going to pre be precise either, like no one can calculate your precisely. What to do next? You eat that amount of calories for the next two or three weeks and you see if you are losing weight, if you are gaining weight or you are maintaining your weight. You take your first week's average and your second week's average and you see if you gained a little bit of weight and if you gained a lot of weight. If you lost a little bit of weight and if you lost a larger amount of weight. Let's take for example, you gained 5 pounds in 2 weeks. So, you decrease your calories by a larger amount, like 2 or 300 calories, your daily calories. And you plug and play with those calories from then. Uh, if you lost, for example, 1 pound, you just increase your calories by a smaller amount, like 50 to 100 calories. That's how would I recommend to you guys to calculate your maintenance calories because this method is close to exact calories that you need to maintain your lean body muscle mass. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. Uh, if you found it helpful, definitely give video a like and subscribe to the channel as well. This all helps me out. Uh, follow me on Instagram and see you in the next one. Peace. She's got me upside down again. Just like a roller coaster, never want it over now and again. You got me feeling closer, time is moving slower now.